So, Mr. Alexander, please tell me about your idea. In the 20th and 21st centuries, there have been vast economic migrations, planned and unplanned, and even forced. For the migrants, it's a question of necessity, even at the price of seriously risking their lives in a small leaky boat on the vast open ocean. For capitalists, it's a question of using labor for profit. And over the last 40 years, labor has gradually become subsumed to capital. And for politicians, it's a matter of suppressing uncontrolled migration. It all adds up to an equation that does not balance. If you want to tackle the problem of climatic refugees, which has been discussed at this conference in plenary session, you must equate disaster risk reduction with the creation of employment and measures for protection of employment as well. And you must create, increase and manage economic migration opportunities on a large scale for the benefit of the migrants. In the longer term, I think that the UN Refugee Convention must be changed to reflect modern migration conditions rather than those prevalent in 1951. The 20th century concept of the sovereign nation state, which has evolved over 400 years, is becoming increasingly out of date. It's no longer ideal and perhaps needs to be revised. And in short, globalization should be for the people rather than for business interests. Thank you.